friends welcome back i am agam and you are on my channel agam tech tricks so today i'll show you how to install pwa progressive web apps in firefox which is like uh, not a feature in firefox by default and like we have a feature in microsoft edge or chrome or any chromium based browser like i'll show you for example uh, we can just open any website and then click on this menu and we can install it as an app for example this and once we install it uh, and uh, once we open it it feels like a native app but it is actually a pwa which is a progressive web app which is basically a website but it can be installed as an app so see how this uh, makes it feel like a native web app uh, but here it's in a browser so in the same way pwa for firefox works like that and uh, it's possible with an extension called PWA is for Firefox. It is an open source extension uh, which basically has a different runtime and then uh, it makes it modifies the uh, user Chrome CSS of Firefox and then makes it look like it and native app. So uh, that's it. Here's I'll uh, link you the GitHub repo in the description and here's the uh, everything like required for it. And these are the features like we can also use a command line tool to install and we can use extensions in it. We can also uh, log in with our profile and uh, for example, I have this normal Firefox installed. So it will have different data. It will not merge with this Firefox and uh, it can also install okay all websites as progressive web apps, etc. So uh, like this. Uh, and uh, it is not planned that uh, it won't be integrated into the official Firefox code because it uses some other Firefox uh, like different runtime for it and this uh, like it won't use the same installation profile and whatever is uh, like uh, whatever websites are logged in in it you will have to log in uh, them again in the PWA you will create so I like this there are many things in it I'll just link you in the description so let's start first of all uh, install the browser extension. I'm on Windows. You can also use it on Linux and Mac OS. So uh, this video is on Windows, but uh, the things are mostly same for the Linux and Mac OS as well. So uh, basically, uh, it just install the browser extension and it will show you all the steps in the while uh, you will be setting up and it's uh, pretty easy to install. So here, install the browser extension. I'll give you the link too in the description. Then here, click on add to Firefox to add the extension. Then add. Here, it will open this itself. After that, set up progressive web apps for Firefox. So, uh, first you will have to agree to the license. Then here, connect to installation. So, like if you have Windows or Linux or Mac OS, Arch or other source code, etc. So, like I am on Windows. So, here are the instructions for Windows. So, uh, first of all, install the Visual C++ redistributable. Then uh, click on it and it will download and you can just run it. I already have it installed so uh, I won't uh, do it, redo it again but you can just download it and uh, install it. Next comes the download and run the PWS for Firefox MSI installer. So basically this is the different runtime that will be used for PWA. And uh, once you install these both things it will automatically uh, jump to the next step. So I'll download this and just click on it and run it run anyway here click on next accept the license agreement and install it next click the finish button now it should automatically jump to the next step and if it doesn't you can just wait here now the extension is ready to use and you can close this page. Now uh, after we close it, here we have it, PWS and we can, uh, it's written that no sites installed. Now for example, uh, I want to uh, make this GitHub as a PWA. So what I'll do is click on this and install current site. And then we can uh, edit the URL and then for example, okay. Uh, and then the start URL as default like uh, we have chosen and then a uh, default profile we can also uh, create new profile on every pw installation or uh, use different profiles or use this like same profile but it will not be the one which uh, the firefox you have installed earlier it is a new runtime and once you create a new profile it will be uh, like different totally from the current one so here you can add your description categories etc then click on install web app 
now uh, it also adds the app in your like start uh, just uh, how it does in uh, chromium or chrome based browsers so here i have it github and i click it here this is the browser and this is how pwa looks like generally so here i have the same profile but uh, i had uh, but uh, basically it will just uh, delete the uh, like it will have some different profile uh, as i had already it before so uh, it has just logged in me again but uh, like it will have a different profile generally so here i have and it's totally different and uh, but it's not synced here so you can just sign in again and every extension works similarly so here we can also pin it in our taskbar and now uh, this is it and then we can install one more site uh, let's okay let's install google and then the website or let's install DuckDuckGo because we already have google installed from microsoft edge so here okay so you will have to first visit the website to install it sorry here so we can install current site yes and here we can uh, use the keywords description categories and then uh, now this is a default profile for example i had that github uh, pwa and it just uh, like uh, if we use the default profile it will automatically have the github logged in like the profile we used earlier for that pwa now if you want to create a new profile you can use that and you can add a custom name or description or you can automatically create a new profile for this pwa i'll create a new profile so here i'll install the web app and here we go we have the pwa now here it opened now it's different you can close the firefox window as well it's a normal pwa now if i open github here it won't have it logged in because i uh, created a new profile which was different from that and here we can also navigate uh, like if it different it if it opened a different website it will show the url bar here if we are on the same website uh, as we added the pwa it won't show the bar so this is it and this is how it normally works you can it will be there you can uh, pin it at taskbar and uh, make it uh, like a normal web app we installed or like a pw we install in microsoft edge or chromium now comes the uninstallation part first of all uh, you can uh, like here edit the website and then also delete it and then launch it directly from here too so uh, to delete a website we can uh, just click the delete button in front of it a app data won't be removed but uh, it can be removed uh, them through the pwa browser or by deleting the apps profile so we can just remove it here and then we have the DuckDuckGo, and here in the profile now uh, for example i had a default profile for all websites and i had my github logged in in it so i can just delete the profile and it will uh, remove all the login data i had in it and then close it now uh, here's the DuckDuckGo one if i want to remove that too and i can just delete it and remove and in the same way we can delete the profile as well so okay no site is default and default uh, default profile will be there but once you delete it its data will be gone but uh, it's still the uh, present so here also uh, it's removed and we cannot see the app now if we want to uninstall it like uh, the different runtime and the extension as well just remove the extension and from the control panel or window settings just remove the apps like add or remove programs you can close this and here we have all the installed apps you can just search for here pwas for firefox this is the different runtime and we can just uninstall it okay it's uninstalled now this was it uh, this is how you can create a pwa for firefox and uh, you can use it differently like a native app you can convert any website into a pwa thanks for watching my video make sure to like comment and subscribe to my channel also join my telegram channel for news quizzes tech info etc thank you mm -hmm.